Hi, I want to talk about revelation that I received from the Lord Jesus Christ during these two last years. Um, the Lord has been giving me many dreams about, um, about the things that are going to be happening very soon here in the United States. And, and he's been showing me how this country and different dreams is going to be destroyed. First of all, by an um, earthquake. The Lord has been showing me earthquakes coming to America. And, and then tsunami, almost at the same time, will be coming to this country, to destroy this country. And we can relay this back to the Bible. Uh, um, thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We can relate this back to the Bible to the time of Noah, when the Lord warned Noah that he was going to destroy the earth by water. We know that the Lord will not destroy the earth by water again completely, but there will be some country, um, like the United States, like he's been telling us, will be destroyed by water. And the Lord has been telling us to prepare for that, to get ready. And I warn you people to start saving food, to start putting food away, to start uh, um, um, uh, storaging uh, emergency food because there, there will be uh, food will be hard to find and it will be too expensive to buy and the Lord wants his people to prepare his special people who he wants to save he wants them to prepare with, with this food he wants them to be ready with this food because they are going to need it they are going to, to need this food it's an emergency situations I don't know for how long, but um, just about three years sounds right to me that this is going to be going on. And, 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 and what the Lord has been revealing to us that this is going to be happening before the tribulation, before the seven years of tribulation, which is right now about to happen any moment or any times. And this is why He wants me um, to warn His people. He wants people like me who's been, who, who He's been showing this and telling to us about this he wants us to warn you people about this and to get ready and to stop putting food away because you are going to need it you're going to need this emergency food it's, it will be very essential very necessary necessary that you have this food available for you and your families because you're going to need it in these three years three and a half years which i say you will need this food because food will be very expensive very soon and if you don't have enough money to get it, it will be very hard to get it. And it's not just about money, it's about having the food because food prices are going to go up for the reason that is uh, rice and beans and things like this will not be available when people will need it. So we got, we, you people have to put this away. And he's talking more to the people that are staying for the tribulation, which will be 98% uh, 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 the people in the country will stay in the tribulation. You know, that's, that's not just my numbers, but the Lord's been telling us that this, this there will be only a small percentage that He's going to take out, but the rest of the people will have to go through this hard time and difficult time because they're not ready to, to deal with what's going to happen. They're not ready to go up in the rapture. He had talked had talked to them many times, different times, for many years, but they have not listened to Him. And this is why they're going to have to go through this. They're going to have to deal with this because he talked to them for many years. He, 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 he spoke, he talked to them through his preachers and pastors and different leaders and they never listened to him. They never pay attention to his message. And this is why he is, is ready to do this. And he had told me to, to talk to his people, to let them know, to, to, for them to get ready, for them to prepare for what's going to happen very soon. This, we believe that within, within a month or so, this will be happening or less, all right? And, and you people are not ready, you're not prepared for this, but you know, if you pay attention to this message, you can pray about this, you can ask the Lord about this, and I'm very sure for sure that He's gonna confirm it to you. It's in the Word of God, it's in Matthew 24, it talks about earthquake and the last day that was gonna be going on, and there will be going on earthquake in the last day, and I'm warning you, there's an earthquake. I live in the state of Massachusetts, and the Lord's been showing me the state of Massachusetts and California, and specifically, and many other states that are gonna have, that are gonna, gonna be earthquake who's gonna come and destroy the city of Boston. It's gonna be earthquake come and destroy the city of San Francisco, uh, uh, California, almost completely. California will be destroyed by earthquake by, by a strong earthquake 
very soon and by a strong tsunami that is going to come into the state of California and it's going to level that state down almost to nothing. I was there, the Lord took me there and, and, I, and, I, and I, I couldn't believe it how much I cried when I saw millions of people dead in the state of California because I didn't expect to see a strong image like I seen people on the ground there, people that that the buildings came over them because of the strong shaking of the earthquake destroy these large buildings where these people usually works and many of them lives and got killed in one single hour in one single night by the next morning all these bodies were on the ground dead and and my cry to the Lord was very very big to the Lord and I, he, as he showed me the body and I heard the people talking how they couldn't go anywhere because most of the main bridges and the small bridges too were destroyed. So you couldn't go nowhere because you know there's so many bridges in California you need to travel from one to another, from one city to another through these bridges. And all these bridges were underground, all broken down. And people could not move anywhere, they could not go anywhere. And I heard the people talking about this, that they couldn't go anywhere in their cars. You're gonna, people are going to have cars, but they're going to be useless because if you don't have the road, most of the road will be destroyed because of the earthquake. There will be a lot of cracks in the grounds that is not going to allow you for, to go, like, like similar to Argentina, which there was so much crack, huge crack in the ground that you can fit into entire trucks and cars into those cracks. And people are not able to move from one place to another. They're fixing that right now. But in the United States, the Lord has been telling me for years now, that this is going to be worse. It's going to be a worse situation happening here. And, and he's been telling me that the people are not prepared for this. They, they, he's been warning them, warning them for years, but they have not prepared. And he says that this is the time now to prepare. He's giving them a few, a few weeks ahead a time for them to prepare with this message. He wants this message going on. I'll be putting this message on YouTube. I'll be putting this message on, 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 on regular TV stations. I'll be putting that on Facebook and so people can hear the warning and people can prepare for this. He told me people, he told me that if people are not ready, they're not prepared, they have not listened to him. He's been talking to them for many years. They have not lived a holy life before his presence. And this is one of the main reason, re reasons they're going to be staying here because the Lord has warned them to live a holy life and they have ignored the warning of the Lord. And this is why the Lord is, is, is so mad. I never seen the Lord Jesus Christ. I know that the Lord Jesus Christ has have so much mercy with America and the world because he's the only, he's the only lawyer that goes to the Father on the daily basis to pray for our sins, to pray for us, so the Father can have mercy to intercede for us, like the Bible says. So the Father can have mercy on us. And every time I used to see the Lord Jesus Christ years ago, He was always smiling, always happy, with a happy face. But this time when He showed me California and Boston, how much destroyed they were by this earthquake and tsunami, He did not have a smile on His face. He was very serious. And, and, and He looked like He's going to do this. And he's not going to look back anymore. He's just going to go forward with what, he, what the plan that they have. They're not going to stop doing, they're not going to change the plan because of, of a few people. It's just they're going to go on and do this. They're going to go on and complete this plan. They're going to go on and destroy these this, this nations who they love so much. A nation that they raise, a nation that they use to, to promote the gospel, to support the gospel, to support many many, many ministers ab abroad, but with their money. They, they have done so much for the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. They had obeyed Him many years ago, but that now in the last day, the Lord is very disgusted with this nation because of the abortion, because of the lies of the Palestinians, and many other things that our people are doing in this country. Homosexual is a sin that the Father hates very much, and abortion is the greatest sin in this nation and any other nation. And, and the Lord has warned them to stop this. He has told them many times, to many, through many preachers, to stop the abortion, to stop the killing, but people have not listened to the Lord, people have not paid attention to the Lord, and, and he, he's, he's about to do what he's been telling people he was going to do many years. He has stopped this for many years, too, as the people in America pray and repented back to him. 
But we see now the church, we see that, that there's no prayer going on for repenting before the Father, before the Lord. There are very few people doing this and the Father has said enough is enough. The Lord has said enough is enough. I'm going to destroy America and he's just going to bring this nation down to the ground. That's what he's been showing me. I seen earthquake right around where I live in the city of Haverhill, Massachusetts. And, and, and I couldn't believe how much destruction they're going to do. The tsunami is practically going to wipe out the city. If you live in the city of Boston, I, ur I urge you to move away from the city of Boston and really get close to, 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 to the higher ground because the, the lower ground who are closer to the sea, like Lynn, Peabody, um, Salem, many other cities will, will, be, will be practically completely destroyed because of the tsunami. The tsunami is going to be very great and this small city will not be able to really stand before this, this, this powerful tsunami that are coming and, and actually the power is for earthquake. I know that a lot of ministers, a lot of people of God has been saying that this, this, was, this was only supposed to happen in, um, very soon in California. But I, I don't know how it is, but the Lord showed me that it's, it, will only, it will not only happen in California, it will happen in many other states like Massachusetts, New York. Uh, he has shown me New York many years ago how New York will be destroyed by a tsunami. And I asked the Lord specifically, I told the Lord as he, as he was showing me this, that this was going to happen in the tribulation. And he had told me very clear, it will happen before the tribulation. People do think on earth that this will happen in the tribulation. But I tell you, he said to me, that this will happen before the seven years tribulation. So it's very clear. He's very, he's been very clear to me, very specific with his message, you know. So I, I got to listen to him. I really got to listen to him because he, he knows everything, you know. We don't know everything. We don't know what's going to happen. He knows what's going to happen. He knows the future. We don't know the future. We can guess about things and make mistakes and then become liars or whatever. But the Lord Jesus Christ knows exactly what's going to happen. And he knows that very soon, weeks from now, you that are watching this video right now, uh, you will see complete destruction in America and you will be with your mouth open and you will cry for your family and your family members and you will not believe this. You know, God is not, and now it's not being harsh on people. Well, God is trying to get a message to people that He, His Son is holy. He is holy. His Holy Spirit is holy. And He just wants His people to be holy. He just wanted His people to prepare to go up in the rapture. But the people have not listened. They have very bit, many Christians who slid it back to the world, who went back to do the things of the world, the thing that God hates. And, you know, and God kept on calling them, giving them more chances. But you see, people don't want to repent of the sins. People don't want to stay away from the sins. And, and, and the Father is very mad about this. He has given them many chances to repent, many times, to, many chances to come back to Him. But they have refused, refused the Lord, refused His Word. It's very clear in the Word of God that in the last day we will be judged by His Word. That's what the Bible says. His Word will be the judge of us. And, and the people have taken that for granted. You know, and it says in the word what's going to happen in Matthew 24. Very clear earthquakes that will come to this country and tsunami. And you know how hard it was going to be in the last day. And it was for us to prepare, for us to be ready to deal with this. Not for us to take the, the word of the Lord for granted. Not, for, not, not to take it serious. It's, it's, this is a very serious matter that, 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 that really... It was very important for the people to listen to God about this, but a lot of people have, have put away their Bible, have put away, have put away their belief in God. And, and, and you know, when, when, when you give your back to God and you walk away, what do you think is going to happen? This is what's going to happen. You can read it in the Old Testament. What happened to Israel when they walked away from God? God allowed the enemy to come and destroy them. Their neighbor came and destroyed him, stole everything that they have from him. If you read Deuteronomy 28, what do you read there? The curses, the curses for the disobedient. What are the curses for the disobedient? Huh? There are many bad things that are going to happen, the Lord said to them, because of the disobedient. So, you know, it's for us to take the word of the Lord serious. It's very serious. God is not playing. This is not a game. This is about life and death. And we have to take this message serious. There will be tsunami coming to this country, to America, very soon. I'm talking about days or week from now, from the day. Okay? 
we're in the we're in the month of May. We're still not in June. Okay, listen to this message. We're still not in June, and the Lord tells me, is telling me that between May and June, there will be a powerful earthquake hitting the United States, a powerful tsunami hitting this country. And He's telling me the people are not aware, are not ready, are not aware of what's going to happen. Scientists in the Discovery Channel and the History Channel have been talking about this, but people have not listened. How can, how, how can you be more secure by turning back to the Lord Jesus Christ? Turn your, your life back to Him. Repent back to the Lord Jesus Christ. Ask Him to help you. Ask Him to protect you in, the least, in this last day. All right? Soon as a month from, from the rapture of the church, a month, this was told to, to me and my brother, my brother Larry, from the Lord Jesus Christ Himself, that a month after the church goes up, all right, the tribulation will start. The demon from the second heaven will be released to the earth to come and they will come to destroy humanity. First, there will be a great confusion and a great attack. And, and then it, it, all hell is going to be loose here on earth. And people are not ready. And the Lord wants His people to start saving emergency food for the tribulation. Remember, it's a seven year tribulation. Save as much rice, as much beans, as much, as much things as you can. If you go on, on, on Amazon.com and, and you put emergency food in there, they will give you uh, these five gallon buckets that, that will last you up to 20 years. This food can last you up to 20 years. You can buy this emergency bucket, they're like $100, all right? And you can put away one of these buckets for emergency. And then, but the, the, the cheapest way to do this is if you buy uh, like 50 pound rice that you can find, you can, and, and the same club, or BJ's Club, you can buy these 50 pound bag of rice for like $21, all right? You can buy them and you can buy these, these five gallon buckets in, in, in Walmart, which in, all, in every state of the United States, there are Walmarts and in, in, in most of other parts of the country right now. For the people that are listening to me from, from other countries, from Spain, I have a lot of people who follow my message from Spain. And, and God bless you, brothers and sisters. I love you very much. Thank you because you're listening to the message of the Lord. And I know many of you, the Lord, have already confirmed that these messages are straight from the Lord Jesus Christ. I've been taken to heaven, I can say maybe more than a hundred times. I've been in heaven. I have walked in heaven. I have talked to the people in heaven. I have talked to the family in heaven. I have talked to the Lord in, in His throne many times already. All right. I'm very aware of what's going to happen here on earth very soon. For the grace of the Lord, I don't want to say this with pride because my people, many, some people might take that I'm being prideful about it. No, I apologize to you if you think I'm being prideful about this. I'm trying to just to let you know that I have a broad information of what's going to happen very soon. I brought information from the Lord Jesus Christ who gave, who gave me this information about what's going to happen soon in the United States and the world. I, the Lord has even taken me to Germany, to, to Europe. i seen what's going to happen in those countries. I've been to, to countries like this, other countries too, and I know exactly what's going to happen very soon. But the Lord wants me to warn the people of America because the, the, the most powerful earthquake, which I think is, a, is about, about 10, okay? It's about 10. All right, this earthquake that is going to hit America, it will destroy many, most all the buildings in California, in Boston, New York, and, and most of all these local city. All right, it, 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 not so much of the destruction of the earthquake, the, the destruction of the tsunami. It's going to be one of the greatest things that are going to happen here, and the people need to be aware of this. This tsunami will kill, will kill millions, millions of people in America. Well die any day now soon soon the only guarantee that you have is if you turn your life to the Lord Jesus Christ and this earthquake and tsunami kills you then you can make it into heaven then the Lord Jesus Christ gives you an opportunity to, to, to make it into heaven but you have to repent you have to turn back to the Lord all right even if the water is drowning you or the earthquake things are falling on you you can repent in that second and the lord jesus christ is faithful you repent sincerely to the lord and the lord jesus christ is faithful faithful to save your life to save your soul remember the most important things that 
that that to God to God that we should we should know this about this and it's a salvation our soul being saved is the most important things that God can communicate to us the, the most powerful message that God can communicate to us so this is why we have to take this very serious we have to understand that this is life and death this is not a game the Lord wants us to open our eyes he wants us to see reality to understand that this is not a game this is about life people that are going to die very soon and, you know you know it, it, it's not easy it's not easy to talk about these things you, you know I'm not having fun talking about these things you know but you know it, it, I gotta be obedient to the Lord he wants me to talk, talk about this is the message he wants me to bring to the people so I have to be obedient I have to bring this message this is the message that people need this day this is this this is what's going on this is reality like the Lord tells us all the time you this is reality you know this is reality reality millions will die soon and they're not ready to deal with, with, with their death they're not ready to face God they're not ready but God wants them to be ready you see the Lord died for them on the cross he died he gave his life for them on the cross so they will have the chance the opportunity to be safe okay and, and, and people have ignored it many people have take this as a game this is not a game my friends and brother, this, this 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 is about your life. This is about your eternity. This is where you're gonna where you're gonna spend your eternity with the Lord. This is no. This is where if you die today, are you are you a hundred percent sure that you're gonna go to heaven? Okay, are you a hundred percent? If you're safe and and you're walking with the Lord Jesus Christ, right? You know that if you die, I know that if I die in this moment, the Lord will take me home. Why? Because I'm walking with Him. I'm I'm always talking to Him. I'm always washing out my step. I'm always repenting on my sin to Him. You see? So He guarantees to us that are repenting, to us that are seeking Him, that He that if we die, He will take us to heaven. It's a guarantee from the Lord Himself. You see? So this is why it's so important. It's so important that we have a repenting heart before the Lord, that we have a, 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 a communication with the Lord, a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. This is what He wants. This is what the Father wants. And remember, the Father said it this way. He gave the Lord for, for us to save people. John 3, 16. For God loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. But whoever believes in Him will not perish, but will have eternal life. He gave His Son. He set the rules. The Father set the rule. This is the way I want people to come to, to my heaven. Remember, heaven is of God. In order for us to make it, we have to be, we have to be all set with God. We have to be ready with God. Okay? We have to be His friends, His sons and daughters. Okay? That's what we have to do. We have to be family of God. We got to be part of God. By His Holy Spirit dwelling in us, living in us, we are part of God. All right, we are part of his family. Okay, we belong to him because his Holy Spirit, the guarantee, the, this, the Lord gave me this guarantee for many years ago that we have, that we are of God. If his Holy Spirit dwells within you, if the Holy Spirit is dwelling within you and you're walking in obedience to the Lord Jesus Christ, okay, you know for sure, and the Lord is talking to you. You know for sure you're going to heaven. You know for sure he's bringing you to heaven. But you got to remember these things. Okay? You cannot live a sinful life and thank or believe that you have the Holy Spirit in your life. It's, it's not true. You are deceiving yourself like the book of John said. The first letter of John. You are, if, you think, if you're living in darkness, if you're living in sin, in adultery, fornication, or idolatry. Alright? There are many sins up there. Okay? If you're a homosexual, gay, lesbian, whatever you want to call it, if you're living that type of life, you are deceiving yourself. If you're not repenting to the Lord, and, and, and repenting means change your way, all right? Stop living that kind of life before the Lord, okay? That's repenting. That's what repenting means. You stop immediately. Once you know you're doing it wrong and you repent to the Lord, you stop doing it. You turn back to Him. All right, but a repenting heart, and the Bible says he'll forgive you all your sins when you repent to him. And it says that his blood, the blood of the Lord, will cleanse us from all sin. Okay? He is faithful enough to forgive you. 
All right, he is holy enough to cleanse you with your, his blood. So you can be with him in heaven. Only through his blood we can make it to heaven. Okay? This is, this is your ticket. Once he cleanses you with his blood and put in you his Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, then you are part of him. Then you belong to him. Then he can save you from this earthquake and tsunami. All right? So this is, this is very important that you receive this message today, that you repent back to the Lord Jesus Christ, that you come back to him. And for the people, you know, the Lord took me many times into the tribulations, and, and I see what's going to happen here in the tribulations and in, in the earth. These seven years of tribulations, my friends, my sister, my brother who are listening to me, you do not want to go to the seven years tribulation. I assure you, I assure you, this is what I seen in the tribulation, it's very painful. Okay? At one time the Lord took me to see to visit my, my family in New Jersey. And we we live in New Jersey there in a, in a, in a sixth floor building. And as I looked in the tribulation, I see a huge machine destroying, uh, destroying the building where we were with the people inside alive, basically to kill these people. And, and, and I didn't realize at the moment that I was in the tribulation. And I said, who, who, is, who is so crazy from the city who's going to come and destroy a building with the people inside? Right? And I looked, and I looked to see who was doing this, and I said, and I said, the Lord had me, get me close to the huge machine to see who was driving this machine. It was like a 17-foot demon, very strong demon from the second heaven who was doing this. All right? These demons that are, that are to 30 feet tall that I seen in the tribulation, and I see this in this other vision that the Lord gave me, this other dream. I saw people having a picnic in a park just like this. All right, a family getting together, enjoying themselves. Uh, let me move this around. I can get more lights. The, this family was enjoying themselves. Ha having a picnic all together. And this 30 foot demon came and grabbed the kids that were there with the family. And threw them, ripped one of them arms threw them like 30 feet, 30 feet away and the father and the mother got up and the mother just wanted to fight this demon and she looked up and she seen a 30 foot demon my friend the, the, I'm talking to you reality this is reality this is reality this is going to be the tribulations this is the years that these seven years are the worst years that are coming to this earth the worst years things that you don't see now, that you don't see now, in the tribulation, you will see. And you wonder how come we don't see it now. And I'm going to explain this to you. One of the reasons that you don't see these things now, these demons now, is because the mercy of the Lord, the grace of the Lord, which is, is through the Holy Spirit also, is from the Lord Jesus Christ through His Holy Spirit, which is the Spirit of mercy, the Bible calls it, is protecting the people from seeing this demon from having an encounter with these demons. But as he is being taken away from this place, then the people will be able to see these demons. They will be able to encounter these demons. He will be taken away. There will not be any mercy because that's what the job of the Holy Spirit is here. All right, he, when, once he's taken away, the people will have to face these demons. All right, right now, people have no idea. It, it doesn't even get to their mind that they're going to be facing these horrible demons. But this, this, the Lord has told us many times, told me, this is reality I'm showing you. This is what's going to happen. And the people are not ready to deal with this. Many family, many kids, many good people are not ready to deal with this. They're going to have to be killed by this demon. All right. Now, I can give you a, a wise advice about this. And my advice to you is, once these demons come, okay, and they start killing people, and you see them, they, I, like the Lord showed me in another vision, a huge demon, another 30 or over 30 foot demon, walking in a city like Boston, full of people, with a huge sword, just killing them, killing the people. And all the people were there would run away from the demon. I seen the multitude of 
thousands and maybe millions of people just running in front of these demons and they see me right behind them slicing the people killing the people and the Lord showed me this is the tribulation my son all right so I want I, wa I want to warn you about this all right the Lord wants to, wants wanted me to share this with you on this piece of video so you can prepare yourself because one thing and another vision the Lord showed me that there were multitude of people running and I seen the army the government, I tell you right now, but I will tell you a little bit more about the government. The government is not with you, all right? There's been a great deceit by the enemy. And the leader who will be running the government, all right, is of the devil, all right? It's a principality of the devil, all right? You might want to ask me, all right, who is the Antichrist? I know this for months who's the Antichrist. And I've seen him on TV many times. Right now, right now, I know who is the Antichrist. All right, if you want to write to me, all right, and, and my email will be on the screen. Write to me, and I will write back to you who is the Antichrist. All right, I will give you his name. He comes out on TV, and you can ask the Lord, and I'll guarantee you he'll confirm it to you. All right, because I know who is the Antichrist. All right, and the government of the United States is under the power of the enemy, and in the, in the government of the world. Not only not only of this country. I'm not just picking on one country. This is a worldwide evil going on right now. This is right before the tribulation start. Okay, so this multitudes were running in my dream, and I seen the people running. All right, and I seen the the army shooting them. All right, and I see the demon with the sword chasing them. Right? And from the skies, I see the Lord Jesus Christ. Who I see the Lord telling his angel, I want you to protect my people. And the angel, they go out to protect a specific people. Who the Lord, this is for those people. That's what he told me to make this video. Those people are the one that needs to save emergency food. Emergency water. It's very important that you save your emergency water. And you save enough. Because you're going to need it. You, you save enough for seven years if you want. Save enough. You're going to need this water. Because the, pipe, wa the, the, the water pipes will be broken by the massive earthquakes that are coming. There will be one coming first. And then there will be other coming right after that. Maybe a month after. Maybe a week after. They will be very soon happening. Okay. So you need this emergency supply. You need to put away this emergency supply. You're going to need it. Okay, your family is gonna need it. You're gonna need emergency water. Save it, put it away. All right, be wise. All right, when you see these things happen, look up. That's what the Bible says. I mean, open your eyes, see, prepare yourself. All right, we have to prepare ourselves. That's what the Lord wants us to prepare ourselves. Get ready for this because this is coming and it's coming soon. All right, and when I seen the Lord telling the angel, go. And protect those people. As soon as the angel came down, I seen the bullets hitting the angel and not killing the people that were behind them. And, and, and the people were running and the angel were protecting them. The, 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 when the demon came with the sword, the, 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 the angel confronted them and fought them and the, and the demon ran away. Because the demon know they, they, they cannot mess with the Lord Jesus Christ. He is God in heaven and earth and below. My friend, my brothers and sisters, the Lord Jesus Christ is in control of everything. Everything. All right? It's not that the devil will be killing people like he feels like it. All right? The devil is not in control of anything, let me tell you right now. The devil is not in control of anything. Because for everything he does, he got to ask permission from the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the way it is. I thought. As I used to go to church many times, and you know, my pastor told us, and you know, you always believe what your pastor tells you, especially, you know, he's trying to explain the Bible to you, all right? That the devil was, was, was doing whatever he feel like it down here, and it's just not like that. When, when the Lord showed me himself that he had power over everything, he's in control of everything, 
And the devil and the demons can just not do anything they feel like it. No. The Lord does it. He does give them permission to do certain things. But the one that is in control is the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? It's, 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 it's got to be very clear about this. This is why if you, if you call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, He will save you. That's what the Bible says. All right? In, in the second chapter uh, 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 of the book of Acts, who, who, those who call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. He will save you. He will protect you. All right? So it's very important that you understand that you need to call on the name of the Lord. Because He is in control of everything. He will protect you from anything and everything. He is God Almighty. Alright? Him that died for you on the cross is God Almighty. So it's very important that you understand who the Lord Jesus Christ is. And, and, and he's in the throne right now. He's not scared for anything. He's in His throne. And He's not afraid of anything. Because He's in control of everything. Alright? The Lord is in control of everything. Not the devil, not the demon, not any man. All right, he let the man govern, govern the country and the land. But the ultimate, the ultimate governor is the Lord Jesus Christ. All right, so understand that. All right, the mark. Do not get the mark of the beast, the six 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 number that the Bible talks about. All right, a lot of people say it's a ship, ship. Computer ship will be put on people's hands, on the hands on the fourth day. All right. Don't allow this. Don't take this ship. Do not allow the government to put the mark on you. The mark means the meaning of the mark is the important of it. All right, because it has the name of the beast in it. All right. That means if you let the devil put this mark on you, the government again, which the devil the devil operates through the government, government. All right, they will put that mark on you very soon. They will ask you to put this mark so you can work or go shopping. Two reasons the Bible says, all right, buy or sell. Buy is go shopping, sell is work. All right, because that's, that's how it is. That, that's how it is known in the, in the Old Testament or in the New Testament, buy or sell. All right, they will tell you, the government will tell you to put on this mark if you want to work or you want to get assistance from the government all right very specific about that the Lord showed me in one vision all right that the people who depend on a check from the government SSI Social Security and all that okay they will not get that check if they don't get the mark of the beast so there are there's gonna be there are a lot of people listening to me right now who are getting that check from the government Okay, and that depends on that check to pay the rent and the bill. All right, now you're gonna have to make an ultimate sacrifice in the, tri in the seven year tribulation because in the three and a half years when this mark comes, remember that three and a half years this mark will come and it will be mandatory by the authority. They will make this mark in every major city, every major country, Europe and the United States and all the other countries around will make this mark mandatory remember this you cannot buy or sell without this mark you cannot work or go shopping without this mark all right don't take the mark all right don't take this mark the Lord Jesus Christ if you take this mark in your hand and your forehead he will not receive you as one of his son or one of his disciples all right, it's very clear. Those who get the mark will not defeat the first death. It's in the book of Revelation. By the end of the book, if you reach after 19 and on at the book of Revelation, you will not defeat the second death if you get the mark at the beast. All right, you will be defeated. You will go to hell. And then you will go to, at the, on the end, you will go to the lake of fire if you get this mark. There's no way out of this mark. So it's very important that you listen to this message. It's very important that you pay attention to this warning. Because the Lord will not take you back. The Lord, if you sold your soul to the devil, 
All right. The Lord took me to a place here in the state of Massachusetts where there are an office for the enemy, a building, a normal company, a normal company here who has an, a specific office there, okay, where they take people and the devil gives them money if they sell their soul to, their soul to him, okay. He is willing to pay millions and billions of dollars for their soul, okay. And this, what I'm telling you now, is real. It was as real as you see me on this screen. I am real. It's real. And there are many places here in the United States and the world. All right, you could be in Spain, you can be anywhere, England, anywhere you are in right now. All right, and there was using people here down here, lawyers including. All right, powerful lawyers to give you whatever money you want for your soul and they will give you a, a briefcase full of money for your soul and you can walk away for this, with this money I seen that right now and there has been many people who have sold their soul to the devil for money and the Lord tells you my friend my brother and sister that if you sell your soul to the devil he will reject you because how did this happen, selling the soul to the devil? They have to tell you specifically that they're buying your soul with this money. Okay? Once you say yes, then the devil asks the Lord for permission for this sale. Okay? It has to go through the Lord Jesus Christ, everything down here. Because the earth belongs to him. That's what the Bible said. He created it. And if the Lord says yes, all right, your life ends right there with the Lord. You will definitely go to hell. And there has been many yes for many years from the Lord. Because this is what people have won. But one concern I would say, the Lord has not concerned, but uh, it's a term of a word that I'm using. That the Lord has this in this last day, that His own people who have studied His word, who has believed in Him, who have had the Holy Spirit in them, are selling their soul for money to the devil. And many of them are Christian pastors who are in many Christian stations channel right now, who's been there for many years, who are very famous, and who many Christians send them, send them money, all right? These pastors, women and men, that are on this TV station. I don't want to name the TV station. I don't have nothing against them. All right. But I got to speak the truth. All right. The major Christian TV station in the United States and the world, many of these pastors have sold their soul to the devil. Okay. How do I know? I have seen them doing it. The Lord took me there for I can see them. And I saw them. They hide from people. They hide from the people and they have been doing it for many years. Hiding from the people. Okay? And the deal they make with the devil, many of them, is for a billion dollars for, the, for them, for the ministry or whatever. And they will keep on preaching the gospel, but they will do favor with, the, with Satan. This is why Sisters and brothers who are listening to me, stop watching the Christian station on TV. It's just another warning. Stop watching them at all. What do you mean stop watching the Christian station? They're preaching the word of God. Listen, they told me in heaven, very, they told me this in heaven. If you hear someone teaching you false teaching and you sit there and you listen to it, you have no idea how much damage that do to your life or to your soul. Because you are receiving something false. You are false. You are receiving false teaching. You are letting this false teaching teach you false teaching, which is a lies, the lies from the enemy. All right. Lord holds you responsible for it. You are responsible for listening to them. You are responsible for, for receiving the false teaching. All right, from these false teachers, am I? And 99% of these people, 
that are, and these major TV stations have made a deal with the enemy, with Satan, and that are preaching on TV, and I'm not giving you no specific name, all right, has either sold it soul to the devil or made a deal with the devil, all right, which is basically the same thing. All right, they can tell you I have not sold my soul to the devil, but they may deal with the devil, the Lord showed me. There are two different things they do, all right, which is an abomination to the Lord Jesus Christ, all right, because the Lord wants you, want us to just serve Him, serve the Lord your God. That's all He wants from us. Now serve the devil and serve Him. No, that's not what He wants. He wants specifically us to serve Him, only Him. Only Him can save. Only the Lord Jesus Christ can bring you to heaven. Nobody else, my friends and sisters, understand this. He's salvation. The Lord is salvation. All right. He's the Messiah, the promised Messiah to save us. All right. So we got to listen to Him. We got to pay attention to Him. It's very important. So one of the greatest sinners, so worse. Not listening to the Lord, not paying attention to the Lord when he spoke to Samuel. And what did the Lord do? He rejected Saul. What do you mean he rejected Saul? Read the, 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 book, the, 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 the book of Kings and Chronicles. Read them and you see the Lord rejected Saul. All right. Why was the reason he rejected him? Because he did not listen or not pay attention to him. And what was the end of soul? He went to hell ultimately. When the Lord rejects you, you ultimately, ultimately will die. Because without His guidance, without His vision, without His understanding, you have no understanding. All right? Then the devil takes over your life, and then you will end up killing. The thief come to kill, steal, and destroy, the Bible says. John 10.10, 10. read it. It's very clear. The end of soul was to, be, to die. That's what the Bible said. Because he did not pay attention to the Lord. And this warning the Lord uh, is telling me to give you is the last warning. Maybe, I say maybe because the Lord can use me for another warning. That he wants you to hear. But it's basically the last warning before this powerful earthquake comes here. And this powerful tsunami. Okay. Take this warning, receive it. You can pray about it. You can ask for confirmation. I'm 100% the Lord will confirm it to you. The Lord loves you. Remember, He gave His life for you. He wants to save you. He wants to redeem you. He wants to bring you to heaven and take care of you and give you any, anything and everything you need. All right. He wants to give you everything. He loves you. The Lord Jesus Christ loves you. The Father loves you. The Holy Spirit loves you. That's why the Holy Spirit takes care of you. That's why the Father is having so much mercy with people. Because He loves men. He created men in His own image. All right. He, does, he, he doesn't take pleas and destroy men. It's not His will that we will perish, the Bible said. He doesn't want people to perish. He doesn't want people to die. He doesn't want people to die through this earthquake and tsunami. But we got to take heed through His Word. We got to listen to Him. We got to pay attention to His Word. We can just not take it for granted and say, Oh, well, maybe if it's happening, then I'll, you know, I'll repent. No. No. Today is the day of repenting, the Bible said. You got to do it today. And you got to walk right with the Lord. You got to have a straight life with the Lord. You got to let Him lead your life. You just cannot live your own life. You got to let Him live your, lead your life. Because your life belongs to Him. Your life belongs to the Lord. We belong to the Lord. This is why we cannot kill ourselves. We have no rights, no rights before God to kill ourselves. Because we don't belong to ourselves. We belong to God, our Creator. He created everything, the Bible said. So when you kill yourself, this is why He torments you in hell. Okay? Because you have no right to do that. You don't belong to yourself. You belong to God. He created you. You are His property. 
this body that you see is his, his property. That's why no man had the right to kill other men. All right, no man has the right to kill other men. Remember that. It says it very clear in the tenth commandment: Thou shalt not kill. All right, we had we had no right to do it. The Lord tells us very clear in His Word, from Genesis to the Book of Revelation, we had no right to kill. He's the ultimate God that can do it. He, he can do it anytime he wants because he created us. He created us. So he has the right. He has the right to do it. We're his property. But we have no right to do it. All right. So take this warning. Receive it. Repent to the Lord. People, go back to the Lord. You Christian who backslided, go back to the Lord Jesus Christ. What are you doing in the world? We are in this world, but we're not part of this world, Jesus said. Come out of the world, people. Stop drinking. Stop fornicating. Stop going to the bar. Stop, stop doing these things that are unpleasing to God. Stay away from sin. Stay away from fornication. Run from fornication, the Bible said. This idolatry that many of you have, stop this idolatry. God is not in an image. That should not form any image of the things that are in heaven. It's in the Word of God very clear. Stop this nonsense. Stop putting this image in your wallet or in your home and on your front of your house. This, these are nonsense before the Lord. These are, these are grave sins before God. And for these things, you, people will die. Many will die because the Lord wants you to repent. The Lord wants you to turn back to Him, to stay away from this image who have eyes and don't see, who has hand and cannot touch. God, our God is a real God. Many other times when the Lord has taken me to heaven, one of the things that I've seen about the Lord Jesus Christ, that He is a real man, but He's also God. I have seen the Lord Jesus Christ, right? His face, many people he is not allowed to see his face or his eyes or anything. I, I, by his mercy and grace, he had allowed me to see him completely. I have seen the Lord Jesus Christ completely. He is the most beautiful person, all right, you can ever see. All right, he, he, when you see him, you see mercy. When you see him, you see love. That's when you understand what love is all about. That's the Lord Jesus Christ. He is so loving. He is so merciful. It hurts him to see how humanity is right now. Hating one another. And constant fight and argument with one another. It hurts the Lord. Because he didn't create a human for this. He didn't create a humanity for, for all this mess that is done here right now. He created us so we can love one another. We can take care of one another. All right. All this nonsense that are going on, all these sins that are going on before the Lord now. The Lord don't like that. He hates that. He hates sin. Because He's holy. And He knows that in order for us to be, get close to Him, we have to be holy. Because He's a holy God. If we're not holy, the Father says to part. At one time the Father takes me, take me up to heaven and show me like a big, huge scale. Right, and when in this scale, I see a line. And the line was, the people that were above that line will make it into heaven soon. The people that are below the line, which was millions or billions below, and only a few, a few hundreds of people above the line. And I, I wonder about this, how is it that they measure this like this. How is it that people are not above the line? That most of everybody is below the line. Because the Father set the line. The Father sets the rule. That if you're going to make it into heaven, you got to be above the line. You got to have a, 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 a walk with, you got to walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. You, you got to have a relationship, personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. You got to stay away from all sin. I congratulate the sister, Jude Thomas, Mary Kay Bassus, and Anna Rantry, all right? And my brother, Richard Sigmund, 
I love these brothers and sisters, and I, they told me about them in heaven, that the message that they received came straight from the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ loved these people. He loves them very much because they are very holy people. All they do is spend their life in prayers, mostly staying at home, hardly not going, not going out. They only go out to go out shopping, get whatever they need, and they come back home. They're always reading the Bible, always just staying in prayer, always staying, always staying away from getting into sin. There are so much sin in this world, people. And we have to stay away from it. We have to avoid it, people. We cannot get into sin, brothers and sisters, because the Lord is holy. He is a holy God, very holy God, and He cannot look into sin. All right? When we repent, His blood cleanses us from all sin, all unrighteousness. But we sincerely have to repent to Him, sincerely. It has to be a very sincere repent, okay? Very sincere. The Lord sees your heart. The Lord sees your life. And the only way He sees that you are sincere and when you, you do the thing He tells you to do, all right? You can say with your mouth that you did it sincere, but if you go and do the wrong things, you're not being sincere before the Lord. He knows you. He knows your heart. He knows our life. All right, so it's very important that we are sincere about it. When we say it, we have to do it. All right, He expects us from us that when we say we repent, we have to do it. We have to show sincerity, all right, because the Lord, He searches our heart. He searches our mind, all right, and He can tell right away if we're lying. And if we're lying, we're not lying to Him, remember. We're lying to ourselves because no one can hide from the Lord. He sees everything, all right? So turn back to the Lord, all right? And be careful in these seven years of tribulation. Be careful, the Lord will protect you in these seven years of tribulation, but you have to call on His name. And remember, it's better if you die being faithful to the Lord, He will protect you. But remember also, all right? I don't want to forget this, all right? Many of you, there's violence. There's violence coming to the earth very soon. There's going to be a lot of violence coming to the earth very soon. Why? Because food will not be available. Why? Because of the earthquakes and tsunami, it's going to destroy the major food supplier, which are California and many other states, will be totally destroyed by the earthquakes and tsunami. So food. It will be hard to find, and if you can find it, it will be very expensive. I seen the tribulation. I been there. I walked there, and a bag of uh, the bag of a uh, bread, which is what 99 cents or a dollar 19 now or dollar 29, was over 10 dollars in the tribulation. And we're talking about very, very soon. The Lord Jesus Christ wants you to stay away, His people. I'm talking to his people who are going to repent and wait on him in the tribulation. Listen to this. If someone wants to steal from you, you're going to have to let them. It's in, the, in, the, in Deuteronomy 28, one of the curses is this. All right. They will take everything right from you. All right. This will happen. You cannot fight people. You cannot deny people food. You have a neighbor, a friend or a family who's asking you for food, who's very hungry. You got to help them. It's very important that you help people. Okay, the Lord expects you to do that. All right? It doesn't mean because you're in a bad situation. All right? In the tribulation, you're going to just forget about the rest of the people and survive, survival for yourself. Basically, that's what the people are going to do. But remember, you're serving the Lord Jesus Christ. Be in constant repenting to the Lord. It's very important to the Lord and to the Father. All right? And always ask the Lord to help you. I see very nice Christian people in the tribulation. You know, and I ask them how come they were there. But see, a lot of people did not wait on this rapture. All right? They got desperate and they backslided. The Lord sees that and it hurts him very much that you, my brother and sister, are backsliding from him. Because you're saying he's delaying so much. 
It's taking him so long to get us out of here. Listen to this. It's, it's better that he comes late but take us home than for us to go back to the world, people. Be smart about this. Come back to the Lord. Repent of your sin. Return to Him. This world has nothing to give you compared to the Lord Jesus Christ. He has everything for you. Every assistance that the government is giving right now will not be given anymore. There will be another type of assistance in the middle of the tribulation, but it will be to the people who get the mark. I've seen that in the tribulation too. So it's very important that you understand, okay, that you cannot get the mark. You got to walk away from the mark. You, let them chase you. Let them kill you for, for, for the Lord's sake. You will go to heaven. The Lord is faithful enough to save you. But do not get this mark. Please do not get this mark. Please listen to this message. Do not get the mark of the beast. So God bless you. And may the Lord Jesus Christ keep you in this seven year. Remember to call upon his name and you will be saved. God bless you.